back to the channel so here we are solving the question long long which is on good courses so the problem states that today alex has bought array a1 to an of length n he apply as many operation as he wants to change the array limits in one operation alex can choose any lnr such that l is from 1 to r r is from l to n and multiply all elements of the array from l to r inclusive by minus 1 alex can replace any sub array of a n to a r by minus a l to minus r a r in one operation so considering this example we have n equal to 5 array is this and we have l equal to 2 and r equal to 4 so we have this sequence we multiply it by minus 1 so it will be 2 0 minus 3 and it would result in this n now alex is late for school so you should help him find the maximum possible sum of numbers in the array which can be obtained by making any number of operations as well as minimum number of operations that must be done for this so if you look at the examples one thing you can get is the maximum sum would be the absolute sum of all the elements if you add up absolute sum of all the elements like 1 7 4 2 5 and 8 if you add all of them this would return 27 which is our maximum sum now talking about the number of operations we need this was minus 1 minus 4 minus 2 and minus 8 now you can group the numbers as the group of negative numbers can be found this is one group this is another group like the continuous negative numbers which are there and this is the third group so the number of groups is the answer of number of operations you need because you can treat a group as a subsequence and multiply it by minus one so just simply check if you are getting a negative number if the number is negative we just have count to be added count plus one count will be updated by count plus one and then we check while the numbers are negative just we would skip those numbers if you are iterating in a loop of i belonging i less than n and initialize i as zero simply you can do i plus plus and you can move forward in the loop so after checking if condition we go in the while condition and increment our numbers so if you can see we check if the element is negative yes it is true in this case it is minus one so we have count equal to one now while the numbers are negative after if we are checking this inside the if statement only so is 7 negative minus 1 is negative that's true so we do i plus plus is 7 negative no then we move out of the loop this if statement then we move to the else statement so our else statement simply do i plus plus so we move to minus 4 now minus 4 satisfies our if condition so our count now becomes 2 now while the number is negative we do i plus plus so it moves to minus 2 we check the while condition again yes the number is negative as minus 2 is negative so we simply do i plus plus we move to the next element which is 5 
i plus plus here simply means i plus 1 we are moving the iterator one step ahead so now 5 is not satisfying this while condition we move out of this and we move to else statement and the next element so our next element is minus 8 yes it is negative so we have count plus plus or count plus 1 which makes it 3 and we check in while condition we have i plus plus but for i less than n then we break out of this loop so our output is 3 in this case in the similar way we can do for all these things all these arrays and get the result as follows for this also you can see that we have a continuous array of negative numbers also uh, i forgot to tell one thing just remember that zero is also uh, counted in this while loop because multiplying minus 1 with zero won't have any effect on it so just consider in while loop if the number is negative or zero hence this would give us the solution and you can also see that the solution is accepted so hope you all understand the solution thanks for watching